helpful watercolor tips and tricks lesson number two transferring sketch to watercolor paper in this lesson i will be showing you three ways of transferring your sketch to the watercolor paper first one is classical i draw with my hand a rose half open bud second is from a printout slightly enlarged and how to transfer that and third is from your planchette with transparent paper first we will take a look of how to transfer your original sketch which you draw with your hand made from your mind or from a reference from other gadget first you draw draw it to the paper i'm using plain paper for printouts for copying so it will be much easier to transfer from plain paper to more thicker watercolor paper why am i not drawing straight on watercolor paper because my sketching is quite um, raw there are a lot of extra lines helping lines for my sketch of freehand drawing and on the watercolor paper i don't want those extra marks i'm making corrections on this plain paper i'm erasing i'm not worrying about damaging the paper i'm doing all the things I want on this plain paper I make adjustments I can even change something that I see in reference or do it on my own or if you're drawing from your mind you're in the sketch we tend to be quite messy and on the watercolor paper we can't afford that because then we can ruin watercolor paper there will be left marks which can't be erased or too much erasing on a watercolor paper can really damage watercolor paper so we really don't want to do that and as we are painting realistic botanical paintings we need to have a very white and clean background surrounding area around the subject so it's very important to have a very accurate and neat paper even after transferring after painting everything is very important so i'm all doing all the mess on the simple plain paper where i'm erasing drawing redrawing adding something changing my composition i can do everything here and when the sketch will be completely ready then i can proceed and transfer it to original watercolor paper there will be no extra marks no extra lines which are helping my composition my sketch to place it correctly everything will be left only on the sketch and on the original paper i will have only a very neat outline drawing outline transfer For this lesson I have three different references on three different size paper for the half uh, open rosebud the smallest one then for transparent paper and rose a slightly bigger and for the lily I have the most enlarged paper so I have my sketch ready watercolor paper is also ready the right size that you need and first I cut out as close as possible my sketch I'm cutting away all extra space on the plain paper so I can have only my sketch and I can place it on my paper I really need to put the sketch and the subject in the middle then I'm taking a graphite stick 
and on the other side of the plain paper I'm drawing a layer of graphite. This is 2B graphite stick. You can use also pencil 2B, 3B and again placing accurately in the center of your paper. Checking with the ruler on both sides distance should be the same. So I'm checking with the ruler if the subject is in the right place. Slightly moving to the right then again checking on from the up and down the distance should be the same. Slightly moving but be careful don't push too hard because there are graphite on the other side and you can easily leave marks. I press with two fingers to fix my drawing and with the mechanic pencil 0 0.9 or 0 0.7 I'm outlining my sketch only those lines that are necessary that are main because there were there on my sketch were many lines which I don't need anymore in my painting like helping lines some extra lines which may be not useful anymore so transferring only those lines which are necessary for our painting for our composition for the subject be careful where, where you are placing your palm don't get don't rub across the plain paper because graphite marks can also stay on your hand and when you will place your palm on the watercolor paper some graphite lines can be visible. Also when I'm transferring a stem I'm drawing it slightly thinner because I know I tend to go over the lines when I'm painting and that way I will not end up with very thick looking stem I will have a nice thin stem checking if everything is transferred. Uh, graphite marks, marks here on the camera are almost not visible but they are there and now I'm taking 0 0.3 mechanic pencil which is very very super thin very fragile um, so that my lines will be very thin and this pencil really taught me not to push too hard because then it will break we need a very light pencil lines. It's very important for watercolor painting that after all the transfer work is done, we can have the slightest pencil marks as possible because we don't want from watercolor layers to be visible some graphite marks. This is really disturbing the watercolor paper, uh, painting and we don't want to have that carefully going through again all the outlines of my subject careful with your fingers and palms don't rub across the watercolor paper because easily it can get dirty it's important to keep everything clean and neat second method I have transparent paper which is plain and transparent as you can see. I have my watercolor paper ready and I have a reference photo on my planchette placing transparent paper over the reference, fixing with two fingers on the side and transferring the lines that you are seeing on your reference. Only the lines, the outlines, using 0 0.9 thicker mechanic pencil going over each line that I see in this rose. All the lines transferred, checking. Sometimes some lines can be forgotten. That's why always before removing the paper check it. Now I have a watercolor paper. I have my transparent paper with the trans transfer and again with the graphite stick on the other side of your sketch mark the graphite 
over the outlines and here I'm marking I can see through very easily and I, I don't need to put some extra graphite on the other side I'm placing it only where the outline is to avoid some messy marks on a watercolor paper so the lesser amount of graphite is the better here you can see it is also can be done with a pencil maybe a little bit slower because the tip of the pencil is much smaller than the graphite stick i have my graphite stick i don't know maybe for five years and it's still a lot of there to left so get one graphite stick it will last for a very long time everything is done now taking watercolor paper turning around transparent paper placing your sketch again checking the distance from the sides left right up down that everything is placed in the middle everything is correct and again be careful don't rub the transparent paper against the watercolor paper to avoid some messy graphite marks and using 0.9 mechanic pencil i'm outlining again my rows to transfer graphite marks on the watercolor paper don't push too hard we don't need very dark and saturated graphite marks just so that we can see and have an uh, have a place where we later go again with much thinner and lighter graphite checking if everything is transferring hold i'm with left hand i'm holding transparent paper so it's not moving if it would be much bigger sketch i would stick it with um, with tape so it's it's also not moving to avoid some messy looking transfer outline is transferred i'm taking 0.3 mechanic pencil and again going over my rows the outline very lightly also when i'm i'm thinking where i'm placing my hands so i'm not smudging some graphite marks around the rows be very careful it's so important to have a neat surrounding uh, after realistic painting it your painting can be done maybe not so perfect but if you have everything neat and clean it will look much much better rather than have a perfectly painted painting and then there are some graphite marks some splashes of watercolor or some maybe catwalk through your <laughs> painting so it's very important in realistic botanical painting to have a clean neat surrounding paper so everything looks elegant so i'm very carefully very lightly this rose this pink light rose is very light and i need to be extra careful here with uh, graphite and outlining so that i can easily in some areas almost remove my graphite lines be very don't press too hard train your hand to be light it's very important also when you're painting don't stress your hand if your hand after some while starts to hurt it means that you are holding pencil or brush too hard and pressing too hard train to have it lightly to move lightly to paint to, to draw lightly third method is from a printout i have my watercolor paper ready print out i have a lily which is enlarged i'm cutting out some extra paper that i don't need having just my lily turning around with the graphite stick covering all the other area with graphite layer 
everything is covered on the other side again placing your composition your subject in the center checking the distance from the left from the light from the up above from the down if you need to move very carefully don't rub against watercolor paper slightly move your sketch or reference do it very neatly and accurately move where you need again with left hand I'm holding my paper so it's not moving and with mechanic pencil 0.9 I'm going over the outlines of this lily Everything is outlined taking other mechanic pencil which is 0 0.3 and again going over the outlines so that my outlines are neat and clean and crisp when transferring the graphite marks are quite thick and fluffy <laughs> I would say that but when I'm going over with much thinner pencil the lines are very crisp nice and clean again carefully don't rush here it's important to transfer almost everything that you see where you will be painting because if it's not on the paper if you think oh I will not transfer that later I will paint it on if you will not transfer it you will not paint it so it's important to transfer folds curves everything so now everything is transferred and as my printout was slightly enlarged and some lily petals went over the edge now i have my reference open on the planchette and i'm going and adding some tips that were out of the paper checking if every all the sizes from the size the distance is correct so i have my subject in the middle and drawing some extra details without some helping lines some extra lines just the outlines that i need to finish this transfer better to check many times because when the painting will be finished it will be visible if some few centimeters are all going more to the right or more to the left it will feel awkward that somewhere the painting is going away from your paper. Erasing some extra lines which may be not necessary, but be careful with erasing. Don't push too hard. Be extra careful with erasing and drawing. Try to be very neat and accurate and your painting will look fantastic only just because you are already doing that everything is neatly thank you for watching this lesson how to transfer sketch to watercolor paper hope you learned something new and see you in my next tutorials and lessons bye bye